was going to the machine. And Warren and Taylor, I went to three recounts here. Not a single one was really <coughs> meant to try and find out if there was fraud in the election. And, and I, this last one was ridiculous. They refused. As soon as they started counting things that didn't add up, they never went and looked at that stuff again. So I think, and also the state has passed new laws to increase the cost of the recount. So what I find really troubling is that I know we didn't specifically say that these tapes needed to be posted all together in a public place like they used to be down at the city county building where anybody can see it. They don't have to run around to every single election precinct to find out what the posted tabulated results are. They need to be also posted. And if you have to write a separate ordinance because you can't add or subtract to what you have, at least get that in there. But you mean things like uh, the, the time, date, uh, up on the tape printed out, and the machine number printed out, and the card number printed out on the tape by the machine. And I don't know that you still have it. Everything is so secret. I've tried to find out these processes because I haven't worked since I had to connect the arrow. But I do not believe that the recount, what you need to set up procedures to stop the fraud before it happens, because the recount will not do it. The recount will not do it. But since the people aren't willing to pay somebody's fine, that's my other point, is that you're going to seal all of these tapes. They're going to be put in a sealed envelope. And the only way yeah. I'll be able to see the results for two or three weeks of a precinct is to wait until two or three weeks because I can't afford it. You understand? You're setting this up. It's a phony thing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.